Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be scheduling our recorder to record on motion instead of continuous as it is at the moment. Um, you can also do this to events, alarm input and out outputs if you've got them, um, and any other type of um, recording system. So first things first, you click in your menu, it's just this little house here, and you go to storage. Okay, so this is our recording menu. As you can see at the moment, it's currently set to normal. This is essentially continuous across all days, including holidays. Now, if I want to change that to continuous, I want to click this little motion button and I want to left click and drag over all of the sections. And we can see now that it's all set to green, which tells me it will only record in motion. If, for example, I wanted to only record in normal at night, I could drag it over these here. And say, for example, I only wanted alarms to trigger it in the morning, I could also do that. So there is plenty of leniency here. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to be doing all motion. Now, once you've done that, you want to make sure your schedule is on and that your pre-recording is at least 10 seconds before and at least 60 seconds after. You can change this up to six seconds before and 600 seconds after, but this gives you a good window. Uh, so once you've done that, you want to click copy. And the reason to do this is because you want to copy that motion to all cameras. If you didn't want to copy it to all cameras, you wouldn't need to do this section. I'm going to copy it to each camera. So I'm going to click all and I click OK and I'm going to click apply. Okay, so now motion is set up across all four of my cameras as you can see. Okay, so now that's done. What you want to do is you want to go into alarm and you want to go to motion. Okay, so as you can see here, this is my camera and we've got a red grid over the top. Now this grid tells me where I want motion to be detected. Now say for example, I didn't want motion to trigger if it was in this top section of the screen. I could just left click and drag over and remove those squares. Now what I'm telling the system is only trigger motion if it's seen in this area of the screen. So ignore this bit, but make sure to check in this bit for me. And you can do that. You can you can be really, really open-ended open with this. So you could just have these random sections if you wanted, um, or you could have completely none or completely all. That's depending on how you want to do it. Say so for example, you had a driveway here and you only wanted your driveway to, tr to trigger motion. Could you do that? So the next thing you want to do is you want to go into trigger actions, just on here. And this is dependent on how you want to have this set up. So if you want a buzzer, to come from your recorder, you can turn that on. You want it to send an email, providing you've set up your email notifications. I would recommend watching the other video for that. You can turn that on here. Um, and you can also set it to record specifically each camera dependent on which camera goes off. So for me at the moment, I only want channel one to record because this is channel one. And I need that to be recording when it motion, when it triggers motion. Um, if I wanted to preview it on screen, I could turn that on as well. If I had any alarm outputs, I could turn that on. Uh, and then I want, also want a snapshot. So I'm gonna click apply there, and I'm gonna click okay. So now what I've told the system is that at any point motion is triggered, it will trigger anywhere here on channel one, up to a sensitivity of 100. So I would recommend turning this down and getting a, a nice fine tuned uh, trigger. Uh, but for the purposes, I'm gonna stick it to 100. And that I want it to record, send a preview and snapshot when motion is triggered on channel one. Now again, if you want to copy this across, you want to click copy, click all on both of these. Um, you will have more cameras there depending on how many cameras you've got connected to the system. I only have one at the moment, so that's why it's only showing one. And you want to click OK. OK. So now what you want to do is you want to go into your army schedule and you want to make sure that dependent on when you have your motion recording, so for me I want it to be all of the time, um, you have all of these set to zero, zero across all days. So to do that, you want to click all and then it will highlight all days and you want to click apply and okay. If you only wanted to use motion at certain times of the day, you could set that up here and you could do that per day. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to go for all the time. I'm going to click, quickly click apply just to make sure everything is set. And now if I go back and I was to trigger motion, this would send all of the notifications and information to all the different places that I've asked. And that is how you set up your scheduling for motion.